Young Kids Plays Live, and I have got a story for you. Coach Jeff, are you ready for this one? I am ready. This is a story out of Boston, or more specifically, Boston's Logan International Airport. All right, airport I've flown in and out of many times. I don't know if you have, but, you know, just regular airport. Mm -hmm. And about three weeks ago, Patty Solly and her husband, Rich, were flying home from Germany. They had been there uh, for the last 15 years. They were finally returning to the U.S. with the Army. And as soon as their Lufthansa flight landed, their four-year-old black cat with green eyes named Rowdy decides to escape from its cage. It's a fitting it's name. It's great. Rowdy. Rowdy. <laughs> Good name for a cat who's going to escape at an airport. Yeah. So this cat escapes its carrier and then disappears. Hmm. They can't find this cat anywhere. Over the next three weeks, they've had Lufthansa personnel looking out for this cat. They've had construction workers looking out for this cat. They've had animal welfare advocates looking for this cat. Wildlife cameras set up. They've had a safe release trap set up. They could not find this cat anywhere. Everyone on the lookout for Rowdy the cat lost somewhere in the airport. Patty Solly said, I can't even imagine that we would ever find this cat. Where? What are the, the odds that we're going to find this cat who went missing in the airport? What is our cat doing right now? Well, finally, just this week, three weeks after Rowdy's great escape, Rowdy finally allowed herself to be caught. Where was she? And they, I guess she just kind of wandered into the airport. And someone said, hey, there's a cat in this airport. And they're like, a cat? What? <laughs> and so uh, the airport called Patty and her husband Rich and said, you're not going to believe this. But we found your cat. Mm -hmm. So uh, Rowdy underwent a health check, and now they're getting Rowdy back to uh, Patty and Rich. But wow, what a story! Now there had been there had been sightings along the way, mm -hmm. but no one was able to catch her. So people would be like, "Wait, is that a cat? What?" It's a Bigfoot esque. Yeah, yeah, this elusive cat just sneaking around the airport. Peekaboo! Now you can't see me, and then it would disappear again. So it was a big community effort with the passengers in the airport, the airport staff, animal welfare personnel, everyone coming together. They finally got this cat, and she's going back to her home, which is actually in Florida. So I think they were on a layover flight. <laughs> Something, I don't know. So there you go. So my question is, Rowdy the cat spends three. The, first of all, this sounds like a movie or a mm -hmm. picture book. But Rowdy the cat is on a lamb three weeks in the Boston Logan Airport. What is this cat doing for three weeks? That's what I want you to think about. So imagine you're the cat and you were writing in your diary. Because, you know, assuming that cats can write in a diary. and Or, or you're vlogging what you're doing. <laughs> what are you doing? Where are you getting your food? Where are you going to the bathroom? What are you doing for fun? What do you imagine Rowdy the Cat doing for three weeks in an airport? Think about everything the airport has. Imagine your cat. You're a cat. You can get into small spaces. What do you think this cat was doing for three weeks? Call me with your wildest imaginative guesses. 1-866-328-2345. We are imagining the wild airport life of Rowdy the Cat. Call us now. 1-866-328-2345. What's the first thing that you would do, Coach Jeff, if you were Rowdy the Cat? Uh, I would probably take a trip up to, like, air traffic controller. Like, you know, the control oh. room. Just because I'm always fascinated with that and how crazy that whole, that kind of whole world is. Plus, it's really dark in there. And if he's a black cat, like, he's basically just a shadow. He would never be found. Oh. So, I think that would be my first move. 
Uh, if I were Rowdy the Cat, I would probably be riding the baggage the baggage uh, carousel yeah, late at night. Especially the ones like behind the wall that we don't see, because that's like a oh. roller coaster of just craziness. You're right. And no one would be able to reach you anyway. You're right. Oh, that's good. All right. So one eight six six three two eight two three four five. Let's imagine. The Adventures of Rowdy the Cat in this airport. Call us now, 1-866-328-2345. Here we go. This is a uh, 